What's going on my ASVAB party people? Anderson here, your ASVAB coach. And what we're gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you how mental math can save you a ton of time on the test and actually show you how mental math can be used really whenever you want. So with that said, make sure to smash that like and subscribe button if you support our channel. That way we can keep supporting you and millions of others to follow. Let's get to it. All right, so let's kick it off my party people. We're talking here about mental math, specifically the split and glue strategy. So here's the thing. We wanna save time and there's a perfectly good way to do it. Now, if you struggle with, you know, looking at something like, let's say 55 times six, I can tell you right now, we can actually do that in our heads. So here's the idea. The main idea here is, look, instead of multiplying two big numbers, let's go ahead and split it into the tens and the ones place. If you have three digit numbers, split it up three ways. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean by that. But the idea is to split a big operation up into two smaller operations. And then from there, do the operations and glue it back together. So again, the idea is split, then glue. So let me go ahead and show you exactly what I mean here. This is super easy to pick up. I know you can do it, watch this. So let's go ahead and say we're looking at 18 times five. Now, the normal way that a lot of us have been told is, hey, look, let's just go ahead and try to perform 18 times five, right? That's the way that we've been taught. And yeah, yeah, but watch this. So if we go ahead and do it, that's gonna give us, you know, eight times five, and that's gonna be 40. We carry the four, then we have four. And so one times five, that's gonna go ahead and give us five and then add the four back and then we get nine. Okay, cool. So in all that time, you know, doing it nice and casually, that maybe took me what, eight to 10 seconds, maybe. And I had to write stuff down. So that took more time too. But let me go ahead and show you exactly how to do this with a split and goose strategy. As always, my Mazvab party people, thank you for watching this video. Before we continue, just wanted to remind you that if you're struggling with the ASVAB, if you struggle with test anxiety, blanking out on problems, then you need to consider the ASVAB All Access program. Thousands of my students have tried it out and they have always raised their scores if they use it the right way because there's always a way to learn for whatever method you like best. From recorded lessons, to live classes, to guided practice videos, to printable worksheets, to speed drills to help you test and raise your confidence and speed, to casual practice that comes with video solutions. Every single way that you can think of, over 10,000 questions, all of it lined up for you, ready for you to get started right now. So at the very least, check out the link in the description so you can see exactly how it works and why again, over a thousand of my students have raised their scores with it all the way through. I'm proud of you, let's keep working hard and let's get back to the video. But don't forget, check out that program. I think you'll like it. Watch this. So let me move this to the side. So we know that that's gonna be 90. We know it's gonna be 90, so we're good. Now, think of it like this. Instead of thinking about it as 18 times five, split the 18 into 10 and eight. Because I mean, before I continue, 10 and eight is 18, right? Cool. So what I'm saying is go ahead and just multiply the 10 times the five, the eight times the five, and then bring it back together. So here's what I mean again. This over here, the 18, this 18 right here, that is simply gonna be 10 plus eight, okay? That's just 10 plus eight. So what I'm gonna do in my head is I'm just gonna go ahead and do 10 times five and, 10, and eight times five, and I'm gonna get in my head 50 and 40 and 50 and 40 makes 90. So there it is right there. I split one of the big numbers into two easier numbers because I think we can all agree that if there's a zero at the end, that makes it a lot easier. And so we split it up into the tens and ones, then we did the operations and we glued it back together. We glued it back together, 50 plus 40, that is 90. And so that's how split and glue works. You can do the same thing here with 22 times nine. Still works just the same. So look at this. If we wanted to do 22 times nine, the normal way would be, hey, 22 times nine, right? And so we look at that and we say, okay, two times nine, that's gonna be 18. Two times nine, it's gonna be 18. Add the one back, we get 19. Now that was fairly quick, but the problem is we put our pencil to paper. We don't wanna always put our pencil to paper. Sometimes we need to do it quick and fast, especially if the test that you're taking is on a time limit, which it probably is. So with that said, take a look at this. I can split 22 times nine up. I can split it up 
in the 20 times 9 and 2 times 9 in my head. So if I wanted to split it up again, let me go ahead and look at this right here. 20 times 9, that's 180. Because again, that 2 right here, this 2 right here, that's a 20. That's not a regular old 2, that's a 20. And so boom, I'm going to take 20 times 9 and that's 180. And then I have 2 times 9 and that's 18. 180 plus 18, that's a lot easier than doing 22 times 9, right? Exactly. And so 180 plus 18, 198. And again, this is what's happening in our heads. That is happening in our heads. 20 times 9, 180. 2 times 9, 18. 180 plus 18, 198. Done. And that's how powerful splitting and gluing is. That's how powerful mental math is. There's so many other strategies, and in other videos, I'm going to be showing you all these other strategies. But by adopting this now, you're going to put yourself in a much better position to succeed. So let's go ahead, try this one out. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds here. I want you to pause the video, try the problem out, and then press play when you're ready. All right. So there's enough time there. I want you to go ahead again, pause it if you need to. But let's go ahead and try this one out now. So first off, we have 48 times 3. Now, here's the thing. The reason that this works is because of this thing called the distributive property. If I'm looking at 3 times 48, guys, look what you're doing here. If I wanted to rewrite it like this, let's say, you know, we're doing 3 times 48. If I rewrote the 48 as 40 plus 8, I can do that. Like, I'm more than welcome to do that. That's the same thing as saying, hey, 3 times 40 plus 8. And so we know that if we distribute, if we distribute, we just need to make sure that this thing on the outside multiplies with everything on the inside. That's the fair, straightforward point. And so when you're doing that, three times 40, that's gonna give me 120 because three times four is 12. So three times 40, 120. And so if I look at the eight, booyah, I'm gonna take blue over here, three times eight, that's gonna give me 24 and bring it back together, 144. And again, I'm just writing this over here to show you what's happening in my head. I can take the 48, split it into 40 and 8, 3 times 40, 120, 3 times 8, 24, 120 and 24, 144, done. And you don't even need to put your pencil to paper. Number two here, 84 times 7. So 84 times 7 here, again, split and glue all day. So if I'm splitting this up, I'm splitting this up into 80 and 4. So I'm essentially doing, I'm essentially doing in my head again, 80 times 7 and 4 times 7. That's exactly what I'm doing. And so 80 times 7, that's going to give me 560. So again, this is happening in my head. And the reason I know it's 560 is because 8 times 7 is 56. So if there's a 0 slapped at the end of the 8, so 80, it's going to be 56 with a 0 or 560. And so there's that. And then the 4 times 7, that's going to be 28. And then again, we glue it back together. So 560 plus 28, that's going to give us 588. You're able to do that in your head. You are more than capable of doing it. So for example, let me just show you before I even show you the work with this last one here, 45 times 11. 45 times 11, still going to work. I can do 45 times 10 and 45 times 1. Now you're looking at that and you're saying, whoa, 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 they're both two digits. It can still work. 45 times 10 is 450. 45 times 1 is 45. So the answer is going to be 495. Done. Let me prove it to you. Let me prove it to you. Let me prove it to you. And just like this free YouTube video right here, my Math 40 people, I have a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every mistake and a free math class every week, once a week for two hours. Click the link over here to sign up and get started and keep raising that score. Let's get back to the action. So again, we can do 45 times 10. And we can also do 45 times, let me use a different color here. We can do 45 times 1. And in my head, I receive 450. And I also get 45, giving me 495 in my head. Nice and easy. If you don't believe me, grab a calculator, go ahead and do it the long way. But I can promise you, with time, patience, and practice, you will be able to go from going by hand and taking 30 seconds to a minute on every problem to literally looking at it and within three seconds having an answer. 
That's how powerful mental math is, my party people. And that's why I'm proud to share it with you. And so quick recap, again, this is just one of many mental math strategies that you can use. And surprisingly, this actually still applies to addition, subtraction, and in a way, division. So I want you to adopt this. I want you to start here, keep moving forward in the right way. And if you have any questions, just let us know. We're more than happy to show you how it's done. And so again, what we're doing here is we're splitting one big, fat, ugly operation into two easier operations. And then from there, we perform the multiplication and glue it back together. And that's how you do split and glue with multiplication by party people. And so with that said, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you want to raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works, but you're going to get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.